हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम दिस इज द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ क्लास टेंथ दैट इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन बायोलॉजी दैट इज लाइफ प्रोसेस दिस वन इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज पार्ट नंबर थर्ड फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पार्ट दैट आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड यू कैन वॉच फ्रॉम दैट ओके नाउ इन दिस पार्ट सम टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन नंबर फर्स्ट इज हेट्रोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल नेक्स्ट न्यूट्रिशन इन एमीबा डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन मैन एंड सम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑल दिस टॉपिक वन थिंग दैट आई विल टोल यू दैट दिस टॉपिक आर मोस्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन मैन दिस वन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो कीप वॉचिंग ओके नाउ फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज हेट्रोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल I already told you that in heterotrophic nutrition, that the animals, these, this type of nutrition in which animals does not prepare their own food, so it can be depend on other for food. So they are commonly called as consumer. Okay, it is the first type that is holozoic mode of nutrition. Holo, holo means whole. It it means the or it in this type of nutrition, the organism engulf all the food. particles engulf it it mean whole food particle it was engulf it okay it involve five steps number one is ingestion taking food inside the body is called as ingestion next one is digestion digestion means the food that is taken okay it been broken down into smaller pieces okay simply we can told that larger food particle converted into a smaller food particle that is simply called as for digestion digestion is basically two types number one is physical digestion number second is chemical digestion okay before going to start the physical digestion i will tell you one thing that in physical digestion not even a single chemical or enzyme will take place okay like when we eat something so our teeth will be cut that our teeth are helpful to cut that that big particle into the smaller pieces so in that no any chemical or enzyme will be work so that one is the physical digestion okay this one the chemical digestion chemical digestion it involve all the chemicals just like enzymes are involved in that okay next one is absorption so digested food absorbed by our body or cells that is called as absorption next one is assimilation it's been taking energy from the absorptive food the food that is absorbed by the cell or the body is take nutrition from that okay last one is ejection it mean removal of waste material from the body is called as what ejection next heading is most important because in alternate examination especially in the board examination the this topic will become that is nutrition in amoeba first i'm i'm going to tell you about some points about amoeba that amoeba is unicellular okay irregular in shape okay there is no food on the on it so on their surface a false food will become that is commonly called as pseudopodia pseudopodia help to ingestion process okay holozoic nutrition take place so question will be arise that which type of nutrition will be take place in amoeba that you write down that is holozoic nutrition next one is unicellular organism that is irregular in shape pseudopodia pseudo means false podia means feet okay step of ingestion ingestion that i already told you that ingestion take place with the help of pseudopodia type of ingestion is also called as phagocytosis phago means solid cytosis means cells any cell will take nutrition in the solid form that is called as what phagocytosis now and a liquid it's called as pinacocytosis okay ha uh, one thing that i will told you that firstly the pseudopodia help in ingestion after the ingestion okay one of the vacuole which are present inside that amoeba cover that food and help in the digestion it means break down it rest rest vacuole except one okay after the digestion rest vacuole except one absorb all the food and later it it is required uh, energy then uh, that food then digestive food will give us energy okay after the the one vacuole which are which was vacant okay all the waste material are collected in that vacuole and later on that come to the surface and ingestion will be take place okay this one you see that okay now here is the diagram this one is the food particle okay 
it can be captured with the help of seropodia that is ingestion process take place next is digestion you see that one vacuole is covered that food particle and digestion it will break down will take place okay next one is abs uh, absorption you see that next uh, maximum maximum uh, number of vacuoles are present inside that okay it will be absorbed that is absorption next is assimilation it means taking energy from the absorptive food last one is ejection one of the vacuole will become on the body surface and remove all this waste material fr from their body that is ejection these are the steps of nutrition in amoeba next heading that is digestive system in man first i am going to tell you about that digestive system it is a system system so it include two parts system include two parts okay number first part is called as what alimentary canal and second part is called as digestive gland in alimentary canal alimentary canal consists of so many different organs okay number first that is mouth second one is buccal cavity any the cavity which are present in in our mouth that is called as buccal cavity next one is pharynx next is oesophagus commonly called as food pipe there is no digestion take place in oesophagus only food will be transferred from mouth to stomach okay next one is next one is called as stomach stomach is j shape okay next one is small intestine ha um, most in interesting and important topic is that small intestine because in a small intestine the duodenum part is there where complete digestion will be take place okay next one is large intestine and last one is anus ho oh, one more thing the opening of alimentary canal that is mouth and the end of alimentary canal is anus be reminded okay now come to the digestive gland digestive glands are so many number first is salivary gland three pair of salivary gland it means six salivary gland are present in our body okay later i will discuss it next one is gastric gland which are present in our stomach okay pancreas pancreas is a leaf like structure okay present just below the stomach it releases pancreatic juice which have different types of enzyme next one is liver liver is most important because liver is the largest gland in our body it secrete bile which is stored in the gall bladder there is no role in digestion of bile okay next one is intestinal gland okay now here you see the diagram of human digestive system first you see the labeling labeling is very clearly you see first this one is the mouth the cavity is called buccal cavity this is also phagus commonly called as food pipe next one is stomach this is a liver liver is the largest gland that i already told you next one is gall bladder this one is pancreas this one is small intestine large intestine ha huh. at the at the tip of large intestine a worm like structure is present that is called as appendix or vermiform appendix okay when it, when any inflammation in appendix or vermiform appendix then it will called as appendicitis okay only the surgical way you have to remove it next one is rectum 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 all the waste material all the waste material are collected in the rectum and through the anus it will be removed from the body okay now come to the alimentary canal an alimentary canal is about 22 feet in length it is coiled muscular tube okay alimentary canal consist of different eight part number one is mouth mouth it is opening in of uh, opening of alimentary canal okay number second is buccal cavity first i am going to tell you about the buccal cavity that the cavity which are present in our mouth that is simply called as buccal cavity inside the buccal cavity it is two palate the upper side is called as hard palate and the lower side is called as soft palate inside the buccal cavity a, a muscular structure is present that is called as tongue on the tongue there are so many taste bud are present okay in our but buccal cavity teeth are present teeth have some different types some character some characters of the teeth so later i will discuss it okay now you see that head region okay so palate that is soft palate and the hard palate okay having muscular structure that is tongue taste bud and jaw teeth okay now this one is the next one is teeth first i am going to tell you enamel enamel is the hardest part of the hardest part of, part of our body that is made up of calcium carbonate okay next is heterodont teeth are heterodont hetero means different don't means teeth yani teeth the teeth which are present in our ma mouth are different not the same okay like incisor incisor the work of incisor is very simple cutting and biting of food number when is number second was canine canine is help in the tearing of food okay next in premolar and molar premolar and molar only help for mixing grinding of food okay 
नेक्स्ट इन थीको डॉन्ट थीको मीन्स सॉकेट डॉन्ट मीन्स तिथ इट मीन्स तिथ इज प्रेजेंट इन द मस्कुलर सॉकेट ओके नेक्स्ट इन डाई फायो डॉन्ट ओके नॉन साइड वेरी केयरफुल डाई मीन्स टू फायो मीन्स लाइफ डॉन्ट मीन्स तिथ इट मीन्स इन अवर होल लाइफ द तिथ विल बी ग्रो टू टाइम्स दैट फर्स्ट वन इज मिल्की तिथ एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज परमानेंट तिथ ओके सी द डेंटल फार्मूला डेंटल फार्मूला हाफ अपर जाओ एंड हाफ लोअर जाओ इन सीजर दैट इज टू एंड टू कैन आइन दैट इज वन एंड वन प्री मोलर दैट इज टू एंड टू मोलर दैट इज थ्री एंड थ्री नाउ डिसाइड वेरी केयरफुल दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन इज फॉर इन बिटवीन अपर हाफ जा एंड लोअर हाफ जा सो यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इन एब हाफ अपर जा ऑल्सो एंड हाफ लोअर जा ऑल्सो इन टू टू ओके इट मीन इफ यू इफ यू आर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई दैन यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इन इन सीजर ऑल्सो दैट इज अप साइड इन टू टू एंड लोअर साइड इन टू टू कैन आइन ऑल्सो एंड प्री मोलर एंड मोलर ऑल्सो इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू नाउ नेक्स्ट वन यू सी दैट इज ओसो फैगस ओसो फैगस दैट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज फूड पाइप नो डायशन टेक प्लेस इन इट ओनली इट वॉज ओनली हेल्प टू ट्रांसफर इन द फूड फ्रॉम माउथ टू स्टमक ओके अ मूवमेंट टेक प्लेस इन इट इज कॉल्ड एज पेरिस्टेल्टिक मूवमेंट ओके यू सी दैट पेरिस्टेल्टिक मूवमेंट और पेरिस्टेल्सिस ओके दिस द ओसो फैगस दिस इन द फूड पार्टिकल हियर इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ फूड मूवमेंट ऑफ फूड पार्टिकल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पेरिस्टेटिक मूवमेंट और ओसो फैगस नाउ कम टू द स्टमक दिस इज डायग्राम ऑफ स्टमक फर्स्ट टाइम गोइंग टू टेल यू वेरी क्लियरली दैट स्टमक स्टमक आर बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू द थ्री पार्ट इन योर कोर्स बट आई आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इट वॉज डिवाइड टू फोर पार्ट ओके इन बी रिमाइंडेड दैट इन वन वन पार्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बॉडी इन साइड द बॉडी दैट फूड विल बी फैट विल बी स्टोर ओके फर्स्ट थिंग स्टमक है जे सेप यू सी दैट ओके फोर पार्ट दैट इज कार्डियक फंडिक पाइलोरिक एंड बॉडी ओके सी दिस वन इज कार्डियक दिस वन इज फंडिक दिस वन इज बॉडी पार्ट वेयर फैट इज डिपॉजिटेड एंड लास्ट वन इज पाइलोरिक पार्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वन यू सी दैट नाउ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन फर्स्ट थिंग इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्ट Time, okay. In that, it is divided into three. It is about five to six meter in length. It is divided into three category. That is duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. You see that narrow tube coil like structure divided into three part. Number one is duodenum. Duodenum is most, my most and most important part. Listen very carefully, because the complete digestion will take place in it. Okay, it is C shaped. Okay. Ah, one thing that is, here it is called that is kind. One thing that I will tell you: when food will mix with saliva, is called bolus. When bolus will enter inside the stomach, then gastric juice is present. So bolus combined with gastric juice, it it is called as what chyme. Okay, see that it is about ten to twelve inch, that is twenty five to thirty centimeter C shape hollow tube like structure. Complete digestion take place in it. Okay, because all the chemicals are secreted in that, which is come from the gall bladder. or pancreas okay so chemi all the chemical digestion will be take place in the duodenum next one is jejunum jejunum is about 2 meter in length okay one thing that i will going to tell you in jejunum and ileum finger like structure some finger like structure are present which is called as villi villi help to increase the surface area for maximum and maximum absorption of food okay now here you see that is uh, ilia it is a small intestine that measure about 3 3 to 3.5 meter in length okay note there so complete digestion will take place in small intestine absorption and digestion takes place also in the small intestine because jejunum and ileum have villi so it help in maximum absorption of food okay the villi this one is the villi okay villi help to increase the surface area for maximum absorption of food so many intestinal gland are present in it which secrete intestinal juice okay now come to the large intestine this one is the large intestine okay it is about 1.5 meter in length differentiate into three part ha huh? number one you see that the swollen part is cecum this is called as cecum this one is the cecum that is the swollen part okay in the at the tip of cecum you see that one thread like structure is there that is called as appendix or worm form appendix with that already told you then any inflammation or disease will be there that is called as appendicitis okay it is about 6 mit cm in length okay worm form appendix this one is worm form appendix okay appendicitis that i already told you that next one is colon 
you colon the colon is the largest part of large intestine it is divided uh, largest amount of water and precipitation storage of feces it help in those storage of waste material and water okay it is divided into uh, four part you see that Num this one is ascending colon means upside transverse colon descending colon and this one is sigmoid colon in the next page we are going to discuss about the rectum where the food where the waste material will be collected and the anus where the removal of waste material okay this one is a rectum and this one is the anus now digestive gland digestive gland before starting that i am going to tell you one important thing inside the digestive di glands are the packet like structure in which enzymes are present enzymes are help in the digestion of food so there are so many digestive glands first is salivary gland that is saliva salivary gland three pair of salivary gland are present in our body okay three pair of salivary gland are present in our bo body we secrete an enzyme uh, we secrete saliva saliva contain an enzyme that is called a salivary amylase or tylen p t y l i n e this this is a, number first is called as parotid gland which are present just below the ear next is sublingual gland lingual lingual it means it just below the tongue next is submandibular just below the cheek okay so three is for one side and three is for another side so three pair of salivary gland are present in our body it is slightly al alkaline that is 7.2 ph okay salivary gland contains saliv salivary mileage or tylen p t y a l i n we remind the spelling okay it convert starch or sugar into maltose so, see this tylen maltose okay it means larger food particle to convert it to the simpler okay next one next one is so gastric gland gastric gland are secreted inside the stomach or to internal lining of stomach okay it is about 1000 to 3000 ml gastric juice secreted in our daily daily in our stomach okay gastric juice contained there are so many enzymes which are contained number first is scl first thing that i am going to tell you sc work of scl is very clearly that it kill all the bacteria which are present in the food okay it help to keep moist the protein particle and activate the pepsin enzyme pepsin enzyme okay now you see that it kill all the bacteria it create ha huh, acidic medium it was create it uh, it facilitated the action of enzyme pepsin mucus ha huh, mucus mucus is the moist structure which are present in the inner lining of stomach which protect the stomach through the scl in the normal condition okay first thing mucus mucus is made up of a special protein that is mucin okay next in pepsin pepsin is most important because it convert protein into peptone and protease you see that now note that i already told you food plus saliva is equal to bolus and food plus gastric juice is called as what chyme okay now come to the next one next one is called a liver liver is the largest gland present in our body it secrete is secreted bile juice which is stored in the gall bladder and gall bladder is connected to uh, connected with the duct is called as bile duct and bile duct is release all the bile inside the duodenum okay see that liver liver is the largest gland present it secrete bile juice which is stored in the gall bladder this one is the gall bladder you see that bile transport in the bile duct in the duodenum region okay this one ha huh, bile bile does not help in the digestion it only help for the softening of fat that softening of this process is called as emulsification of fat and that fat is called as emulsified fat that when pancreas pancreas is the leaf like structure which are present just below the stomach this one is pancreas okay it is also you see that bile duct and this one is duodenum leaf like structure triangular structure present just below the stomach it secrete pancreatic juice into the duodenum duodenum region you see that it contain enzyme which commonly called as pancreatic juice which have different the pancreatic number one is pancreatic amylase it help to convert starch or uh, sugar into glucose okay this one trypsin ha huh? one question will be always ask in all the examination what is the difference between pepsin and trypsin pepsin that i already explained in the uh, gastric gland gastric juice here the trypsin trypsin help to convert protein into amino acid lipase lipase is very important because the fat which are soft which was soft by the bile 
so emulsified fat that is emulsified fat lipase action okay it convert to fatty acid and glycerol okay this one note in inside the stomach of baby that is milk feeding baby okay a renin enzyme is secreted this renin renin enzyme convert casein casein protein that is milk protein into para casein or pro casein okay this one is you see it very carefully these are the tables we can you which with the help of this table you can easily learn all the enzyme with their action site and conversion these are some enzymes food number 1 is salivary gland saliva when cavity salivary amyl starch into maltose gastric juice gas stomach pepsin protein into peptone and protease renin casein of milk para casein third one is liver liver is stored that liver is release gall bladder uh, sorry real liver release bile which is stored in the gall bladder duodenum that is fat emulsified fat these are some which can be easily learn through this if you take the picture of this you can easily learn all the all the glands with their secretion site of action enzyme food effect upon and in product you can easily learn from that okay next some important point that you have to remember always that digestion will be started from buccal cavity that is mouth digestion will end in the duodenum part that is small part there is no role of bile juice in the digestion of food liver is the largest gland in our body bile is ha huh, bile is bluish or greenish blue in color due to the present of two pigment that is bilirubin and bilirubin saliva also contain an enzyme that is called a lysozyme so it is uh, which kill all the germs and bacteria hence it is antiseptic okay now come to the some experiment Exper for before going to start this experiment i again told you one thing important that in photosynthesis there is the formation of glu glucose that is c6h12o6 but later that glucose will be stored in the form of starch okay so in maximum plant starch will be present and when starch is combined with iodine it give blue black color now here is the first experiment to demonstrate that co2 is necessary for photosynthesis one firstly i am going to demonstrate it after that i will open the slides now listen it very carefully in this we have, we have to take two potted plant okay in this we have to take two plot potted plant okay two plotted first we take that two plotted plant two potted plant three days in a dark room from that it will be used all the starch which are present in that okay after that two potted plant will kept in the sunlight for three hours this is the pop plant number a this is the bell jar covered with the bell jar this is the potted plant in in first a part is the petri dish or wash glass inside the petri dish or wash glass it will contain koh that is potassium hydroxide or uh, sodium hydroxide the work of potassium or sodium hydroxide is to absorb the carbon dioxide which are present in that okay this one is the b plant that both plant are kept in the sunlight in the presence of sunlight for 3 hours okay later after that we have to take one one leaf from that two plant that is a and b okay and uh, kept into the fresh water and wash with the fresh water so all the germs or dust will be easily removed after that it will be boil in the fresh water in the fresh water through this the pores the leaf pore will be easily open okay then it boil in or water bath with the in the alcohol through this the chlorophyll pigment which are present inside that is easily remove okay now next one is is both the leaf are dipped into the alcohol solution uh, sorry iodine solution okay in iodine solution after that when we see that two leaf number a leaf that no change in color because there is a no formation of starch no formation of glucose because carbon dioxide all the carbon dioxide is absorbed by koh but in b their photosynthesis is there so there is the formation of starch and it will give blue black color now material required you can easily there are so many steps that i already told you about that steps you can easily write from that you will write steps on your own ways okay no problem in that if you write this one it will be very, okay now conclusion conclusion is very simple that is starch is starch combined with iodine to form blue black color next experiment number 2 that is prove that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis before going to start i will tell you something 
In that experiment, we, we will take a variegated leaf. What is variegated leaf? You see the money plant leaf or proton leaf, especially money plant leaf you see. In money plant leaf, you see that in one leaf, green color is present, also that there are so many colors are present, especially the yellow color is pre present. Okay, so the, the leaf in which green as well as different color is present that is called as variegated leaf. Okay, so first thing is that kept that uh, plant or uh, money plant into the dark, okay, into the dark where that it, it consume all the stars which are present in that, okay, after that it will kept into the in the uh, after that it, it will be kept into the in the presence of sunlight for three hours in that it will make the starch okay after that it will be take it take one leaf wash it very clear carefully with the running tap water so all the dust particles will be removed from that next one is said that mark all the mark the green part and other part with the help of markers okay and boil it okay and boil it boil it very carefully so the all the pores will open okay after that kept into the kept into the alcohol solution in the water bath so the chlorophyll which are present inside that will be easily removed from that pore which was open by during the boiling water okay kept after that kept into the iodine solution so you can see that these are some steps you see that first okay this one is huh, observation you can see that the marking the the mark that we have will done that the green part and the other part that is yellowish part you see that the green part will change the color of that is blue black color it means in green flat chlorophyll is present so it is the form there is the formation of starch so it combined with iodine to form blue black color okay but the other part that is yellowish part is not performing the photosynthesis so it cannot make the food so it does not give any color changes here you can send here you see that now next one is you see the blue black color this is unchanged okay now some questions some questions number one question is that which are the two which are the two sets of teeth in human this one in next question is what are the final product after the digestion of carbohydrate and protein next one is what are the primary requirement of pancreatic enzyme to act F what do you mean by emulsif emulsification of fat question number five name the site of complete digestion of food in human N write the role of saliva in the digestion of food why does our mouth water when we eat something okay so this is the end of part third thank you